Hi guys, I'm back now that the full game is out. I'm gonna do my playthrough. So I considered playing a couple of nations. Uh, I tried out uh, playing as uh, the Byzantines, but uh, their gameplay would be very boring for a YouTube style video, unless I would do something like uh, a time lapse of them, because it, it's basically a waiting game with them to avoid. You're waiting to avoid getting killed by Ottomans and waiting for the army to get slaughtered. And uh, I don't really want to play as Ottomans again, uh, themselves, as I already did the, the demo video on them. Uh, don't want to do any of the inland nations or HRE or England or France superpowers. So it's sort of a split between Castile and Portugal and. Uh, I'm more comfortable with Portugal as I don't have to deal with France and well at least not directly maybe indirectly through the English Alliance uh, and for options the only change I'm doing is uh, I'm turning lucky nations into random because France always get lo gets lucky nation and with random it's a lesser chance that he'll be lucky since uh, Lucky Nations does still prioritize uh, larger nations over smaller ones. Okay, so let's get started as Portugal then. Uh, let's see, so first thing is first, we got negative income. So let's rectify that. Uh, yeah, I suppose I'll just get him. I would really want him but there's no way I can afford a 3 star or level 3 advisor especially with negative income at the beginning of the game also let's send our yeah, slide ships to help our trade route uh, so yeah that's our main trade route uh, let's see what other changes do we have to do I don't want to lower the fleet maintenance because that will give a reduce our trade power and army maintenance I suppose we could drop it I really want to get into a fight early with Morocco but uh, I did some experimenting right before recording this and uh, I always end up on the mountains pretty much everywhere you go in Morocco and that usually tends to get you to lose battles if you have even sized armies. And there's a lot of rivers, so you pretty much always cross a river wherever you go. Very dangerous play. Uh, so I'm not sure. Should I try going for them? Or should I wait a couple of years, but then I'll get some alliances. Which can also turn out to be a nasty thing. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, so let's turn back this view and uh, so our trade making up a quarter of our income so after patrol start, light ships start patrolling around that will be even higher and hopefully that will put us less red. Is there anything we can do here? No there isn't. Um, so missions, conquer this little bit of land, Tangieres, form alliance of Castile or improve our prestige with uh, who? Who are we meant to improve it? Oh prestige sorry that's uh, I thought uh, it was reputation. No, prestige is not going to happen, we're dropping, we're not going up. So let's take a uh, former alliance of Castile L and diplomatic uh, of alliance. This will get us one mission done. Now let's move these guys here and move a boat around here. Now I know that the English are going to invite us to the French war and since we can't afford uh, prestige wise to say no we'll have to join it and hope the French don't attack us 
Okay, that's one objective cleared. And like I mentioned, uh, English calls us to arms against a bunch of guys and we say no. We have to pay a hefty penalty, which we can't afford this early on. Oh, we got some revolts here. Uh, I wish we had some of these to help us out, but I think we need to meet the requirements for them. So, uh, let's save up for stability. We should get two stability before we try anything. This needs conversion, but... It looks like we got so many negatives here... That... It would never convert. As uh, some missionary progress is 0.0%. Is there any way we can raise that? Uh, I think if we somehow get some tax coming in here, because there's no tax income, it might be the cause. Let's see your uh, revolt risk, intolerance. Distant overseas? Really? This is distant overseas. Okay. I suppose it's because it's on a different continent. It was not considered distant overseas in EU3, so uh, that's why I'm a bit surprised. Uh, so let's. Uh, so army is moving. That's fine. Uh, let's pick up some speed actually. We're getting fish. Well, I was hoping for a better resource to randomly generate here because values fish or fish is not exactly brilliant. Uh, I'm actually gonna try increasing our influence with the papal states because that way we can get uh, maybe someone to improve some of these things I can't remember now exactly which one but for each uh, cardinal we have and it seems we have one cardinal already Basically, for each cardinal we manage to get active, uh, we get a bonus of some sort. I can't remember what it was. Right, now I lost track of what I was doing. Right, royal marriage with Castile. Uh, can we ask for royal marriage? Uh, dynastic actions. Royal marriage need 12th December before we can ask. So let's try transporting these guys over here. If we do get attacked by anything, hopefully Castile will kill them as we are allied. And we can call them to war if need be. Uh, so let's split in half, uh, take the lesser half and load it onto a boat because we've got six transports and transport them here. I'm actually gonna de- Oh. Because I'm transporting, I'm not allowed to splitting, which is kind of annoying. Okay, now we can split. Let's take two early Cossacks and take them to blockade the French. That should give us extra income. And hopefully the French don't have any armies on that side. Oh, there's a fleet. Okay, cancel that idea. There's a fleet. We hunted down. We got a bigger fleet, I think. Do we? Six? and six twelve ships versus nine ships yeah we got a bigger fleet let's hope we can hunt them down looks like they're trying to put some troops on our land if I'm not mistaken
No, did you ally yourself with anyone? Actually, it would be fun if uh, I declared war on Morocco and these guys decided to join in because they, <laughs> they would pay uh, a penalty for uh, for being a breaking a truce. You could exploit sometimes AI like that in a previous game. And the stability would drop. Oh, where did the French fleet go? I really wanted to blockade them. Okay, let's go back here then. I guess my plan fell through because they ran away. Huh? What just happened? Oh, I moved. Uh, close. Uh, you go here. Wow. English are busy. Why is it French? Uh, no, that's not French. They have similar flags. Uh, well, I need to actually transport my troops. So let's detach one more guy. And then we're gonna go a little warmonger over here. Oh, we're still negative. Oh, can we afford stability yet? And it's way past 12th March, so royal marriage. There you go, there's our prestige. Prestige is always welcome. More trade power, meaning more money. And uh, we're getting legitimacy, which we don't need. Uh, relations over time, I suppose that's a good thing as well. Uh, let's see, new mission. Papal relations, so we're still far off, even though we s I believe we sent one. Oh, we did not send one. I thought I sent one here, so let's send uh, one to improve, but as we're such a long way off, this will not happen, so we'll take a different mission. We'll take a mission for the conquest. And we're blockading here, so we should be getting income here. A tent of each month. Maybe I can build the troops here. And it won't take too long. Distant overseas. Plus 50. Revolt. Plus 2-4. Okay, that's a bad idea. I could get... 55 days. Okay, let's build another regiment here, and uh, once you offload these guys, you come back here. And we're gonna declare war on you. Now, what sort of ships you got? Yeah, I should be able to beat you in case I get into a fight with you. So Morocco hasn't made any new alliances. You got Requiem Quest, I got the Conquest, Cassus Belly. Uh hopefully they'll walk into me, that's my hope at least. Because I really don't want to walk into them. Let's see if we send one now. It's still zero. How do we get it to a positive? I think we need stability. Yes, we need stability. Until we get one stability, which should be around the corner. Yeah, there's our one stability that we so badly needed. Uh, let's actually kill off this one troop they bought. And it's still not good enough. And I got a level 1 fort, which is meant to increase. So we need more power from our... Uh, 
uh, from our, uh, uh, what's call it, uh, uh, missionaries, yeah, that's it, uh, sort of blanked out there for a moment. Let's actually go back and get ourselves a leader, one that can siege. This will make life a lot easier. Oh, Morocco boats. Oh, why am I not fighting them? It looks like I was. Let's come out and see. Can I fight them? No, we legged it. Where did they go? Oh, we come back. Actually, let's stay here and you can actually get on this. And get over here. Uh, let's see what's going on with this battle. It's oh, those! How did they avoid river crossing? I didn't see them step in this. They straight away on top of me. I got higher base morale, so I should, in essence, no way. That's them. I got the wrong way around. I got a better leader. As long as he doesn't injure himself. And I got more cavalry, better ratio. Current ratio is 30, we should be able to get up to 50 ratio. And you guys go here. Now we should really, really hunt them down. Now is this fort affected at all? No, it's not. It's actually in a very good shape. Uh, so they're running towards uh, here. So we're gonna chase them towards there. And even though we're gonna get a river crossing, we should actually arrive there before them. Or not. We'll be two days late. I wish we were right before them. Oh, where are they going now? Uh, here. If we just hunt down their army, it should all be fine. And since we're sieging here, Is there anything else going on because I tend to lose track of things when I do too many things at a time? Any luck here? Nope. So let's get two stability. That should reduce revolt risk to zero. And hopefully no revolt risk. No, that still won't fix this. I really think I need more missionary strength to convert to distant uh, overseas land. That's a very different thing to deal with, that I didn't have to deal with in EU3. Oh, you would get in EU3 an indefinite 9% conversion for half a decade. Okay, now we can grab a lot of land since uh, they're without an army. Now, if I really could my pure preference would be get grabbing this, this, and that. That's assuming I can score a high enough all score. And these guys don't attack me. How enthusiastic are they about fighting us? Very enthusiastic. I'm killing these guys with war exhaustion. I should lower my own war exhaustion when it comes to it. Uh, diplomatic power, it's a lot, but... Do we need it for tech? Oh, we really, we really need it for that. I can't aff afford to give away my diplomatic power. What's war exhaustion doing to me anyway? Uh, 
National Revolt risk, pretty big. Uh, morale, not so important. Uh, building time, not so important. Co-creation cost. Uh, we don't need to worry about that yet. And we killed a thousand troops. We can continue our siege. And hopefully the French don't pick on us at any time soon. They should be busy with English finishing their hundred year war. Uh, okay, this monthly auto saving can be slightly annoying at times. Okay, so we lost 72 troops, they lost a thousand. Sounds fair. Uh, Detach siege. Okay, that's a lot of units detached for siege. And why is our cost so huge? Oh, all of a sudden we're in a positive? Like, hello, what's going on? How we can be in a positive and then we're in a negative? Uh, I need someone to explain what's going on. <laughs> My money is jumping up and down randomly. So we got our successor to the throne. Uh, you're not gonna let me siege so I'm gonna kill you. I'll have to accept. I really do not have a choice. Uh, stability means my money will go down faster and uh, my legitimacy goes up so in certain number of years I'll get it back but why am I losing here? Oh they sent the king to kill us. Uh, that explains. And uh, they lost. Okay, let's see. Can we capture 25th May? 25th May, yeah. The king is done for. Uh, yep. Is the king dead? Is my only question. Uh, let's see, that's 20th, that's 19th, yeah, we can catch them. I'll have to, I can't give you a leader, you're on a foreign land. I really wanted to give you a leader. Uh, so... England made these guys peace out. That's less people to try to trouble me. I'll take anything I can get then. You're on a hunting duty still. Okay, let's just siege in the middle and then if anything pops up you should be able to get to it. How's your siege progress? Okay, one, one stage down still got quite a long way to go. Uh, don't care on that. We know of that. We've got positive income again. Are we ever gonna get the siege done? Okay. Detach a siege. Go catch them. Morocco is probably gonna fall apart just from all these nasty things I'm doing to it. Oh, you don't wanna run. 
Uh, your choice. I tricked you into not running and you fell for it. That gave us uh, more army tradition and more prestige. I take free prestige any day. We're actually making progress here. We're making a lot of progress here. And we're slowly progressing here. Uh, one second, gonna pause. Okay, I'm back. Uh, had to take a small break. Uh, let's see what's going on. The break was pretty long, so I actually forgot what I was doing. Um, yeah, we're sieging. I'm just wondering, will these guys send any ships towards us? If I could beat and capture some ships, I'd consider it a very nice benefit as repairing ships is I believe reasonably cheap I'm not sure does it ever display how much repairing costs oh I'm spending money on my maintenance of military to reinforce so that's why I'm in a negative should be in a positive now Oh, and I can do my stability, which I really, really wanted to do. Or not. Why? What? 50% more because I got a positive stability? That wasn't in the demo. I don't recall it being in the demo, at least. I, I feel like I'm being ripped off. That doesn't feel fair. Uh, how's my siege is going? Uh, slowly. Actually, this is slow. This already has a 7% chance of... Why did the positive 7 turn into a <laughs> negative 7? Uh, some weird things going on with sieging. But yeah, we're progressing, so... All's good. Now, hopefully I can capture a ship. We got five ships. Five light ships. I would really want to capture a free light ship. Do we have any light ships here? No, only big ships. I wouldn't mind big ships early in the game as well. Uh, hurry up with your siege, you. 1800 versus 1900. Okay, this should be about captured. Yes. Wow, that took a year and a half or more. A lot longer than I expected. That should bring our wall score up a bit more. These guys' enthusiasm is too high, that's why I want to beat them up in some ship battles. And the French are losing a wall. Slightly. Oh, but my wall exhaustion is really getting high. Why, I wonder? What's increasing it is actually my biggest question. I'm not suffering any attrition, am I? No, I'm not. So why would I be suffering? Okay, let's pause and... Oh, army select, that's the way to do it. And let's see, can we capture these guys? They leave on the 23rd. We get there on the 28th. That doesn't sound good enough. These guys will really get beaten up if they get into any more fights. And I don't want that. 
Hopefully I can reinforce them before we get the beatings. Oh, that siege was completed. And I actually won that one. Did I? Yes, I did. Uh, I guess the river crossing really did a number on them. Let's see, do they even have any like valuable provinces? Actually, I should be looking at my trade. Valuable, not valuable. So personally, I'd like to capture that and Fez. Wouldn't mind uh, Melila or this Figui. Okay, I'm not gonna even try pronouncing some of these names. I'm not too good with these tongue twisters. Okay, we can get my stability up. I'm really disappointed in the cost of it, but we do what we can to get a positive income. And how's my siege going? Um, well enough? Well, slowly enough, at least. And I forgot our sieging here, which is almost complete. If I get enough war score, I should be able to get my demands. Okay, so... I wonder for any that I have conquered, do I actually get any money out of it or only do I get money when sieging? Oh, I'm not getting even when sieging. I swear in the previous game when your troop was over a province on a month click it would show you like plus 0.1 income. But nope. It's not happening. Uh, let's see. So... You... Sieging is actually getting quite progress, so I think I'm gonna move this one squad. And let you finish on your own. You had reinforcements. Are you on pause? Rebels? Really? Okay, that's a lot of rebels. I'm gonna have to gather my troops to beat that guy. That stack. So actually, forget that. Instead of sieging there, you going there. How is your progress? I'm gonna let you finish. That should give me enough time to gather force to deal with these. Uh, nationalists. Nationalists are not very friendly to deal with. Uh, can you kill them before they get away? Nope, you can't. Oh, this cat and mouse game is starting to annoy me. Yes, the siege is over. I'm just gonna let these guys roam, who cares about them. I can't be chasing down forever a single squad of soldiers. What? What was that fight? Oh, the ships. A bit of the ships. And I managed to capture one, apparently. And it's exactly what I wanted. 
a quota block. Um, my wish come true, I guess. Uh, let's move and uh, we can get a much bigger blockade over here. And I need to check. I hope I'm not getting any attrition over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I think my range is not the greatest. As in the demo, when I played Portugal, I was... Uh, yeah, I was uh, blockading over here and all of a sudden my entire fleet sunk. I was like, why? It's not uh, ocean. And I didn't realize I was actually getting attrition from being outside the supply range. So that was quite an embarrassing way of getting <laughs> myself beaten up completely. Uh, yeah, we should have a superior force. We didn't even get any negatives, so yeah, this will be sort of one-sided. Is this one-sided? Yeah, I'd call this one-sided. Did some of them survive? Ah, yes, they did. I'm not too happy about that. No, it didn't. It looked like it did. Yes, I'm getting a lot of money from blockades. Actually, gonna detach uh, my lovely bark and send it to blockade this port to get more money. Ten ships should be able to handle. Uh, let's see if four big ones ah actually it's no longer looking so promising <laughs> if I have to be honest uh. oh uh. Oh, I don't like this. Why stability of all things? Charge me like a hundred diplomacy. I'm willing to pay that. I don't want to pay stability. That's something I actually considered valuable. Uh, and these troops are really beaten up more than I wish them to be beaten up. Uh, my war score is really good. Where's the capital? There it is. So I guess I won't be capturing this province anytime soon then. And the French war is going very well apart from here. <laughs> but I'm getting blockade income. I could use another ship over there for blockade income, but I can do without it. I'm getting blockade income here. So I can say it's it's a worthy sacrifice. Okay, so you would give me that the province I originally claimed for and uh, reclaim the, uh, renounce the claim on my captured land that would be nice pay me 40 um, which I don't really need and I'd get very little prestige now I'm gonna bargain for two provinces I like the sound of, uh, say this, point eight production, oh I can't see on others, it's a bit annoying that you can't see the potential production once you capture it, because then you don't know what's valued more, and I need to, 
I'm really sad that I have to waste more of my administrative power on getting my stability boosts. Have this improved? No, it hasn't. I don't really want to boost the revolt risk. So yeah, I'm not gonna do anything. If they appear again, I'm gonna kick that. How big of a squad is it? Oh, it's Fez now kicking up. A fuss about wanting to be a free nation. Uh, detach siege. Uh, hunt them down. 19. Uh, 18. Yeah, I can kill them. More towards my war school. Yeah, I'm just gonna go there. And this is pretty much a single sided war. Unlike my first attempt, where I ran into the mountains over a river and got myself beaten up, and then decided to restart the whole recording after embarrassing myself. How long? It it is really annoying not uh, having a, a colonist because the progress is really slow without a colonist. And once you get a colonist, it really speeds things up for you. Yeah, I wish this war went somewhere. Some of these guys could really peace out. Uh, what did I capture now? Oh, this. Can I actually send these guys to reinforce here? Because these ships are about to come out. So I want to capture as many as I can. Uh, one ship captured, I'm slightly disappointed, but I got another Karak, uh, not Karak, uh, a Cog, so that means I need one less. Cogs will last me forever before I research new ones, so yeah, it's a good investment. I'm actually gonna send you guys back to your job of making me money and uh, my fighting force will go here or not actually go visit there and see can I get any repairs done or does it let's a month tick and see that's 57 Okay, that one repaired, so yeah. I can get some repairs done before the siege is over. Uh, so, does this mean uh, I did not get a cardinal? Ah, oh, I should have been paying more attention. Yeah, this time let's click things on time. I really want cardinals. Uh, tick over one more time and I'll be pleased. Oh, what really do not like these huge squads. 
and with river crossings to make my life more miserable. Okay, let's wait for this to take. Yeah, that fleet should be repaired enough. Uh, how far is this siege? It's still early. How far is this siege? It's pretty late. So, I don't actually wanna. Okay, let's move a big squad here. Get all the ships I can here. Now, see how many I can detach. I can detach half. I really need a superior force to these guys. Oh, give me a break. Rebels left, rebels right. Do I have enough all score to get what I want? Is the question. And I should be asking. Can I be greedy? Oh, I can be greedy. I can be very greedy. Okay, we'll have to do without the trade power, but yes, I can be very greedy. Send them on. Who did I make angry is the only question. <laughs> I wasn't actually paying attention to that bit. Uh, yes, I've got a lot more land now. But I need to improve my ability to convert provinces. And I believe my colonies are still miles off. Uh, well, my colony, single one. In the demo, I had another one over here. Uh, so. Yeah, this guy needs to first repair himself. Actually, everyone just repair yourselves. How much does it take to... Ouch! Okay! This is very, very expensive. Why on earth is this so expensive? Just because I don't have a claim? I feel like I'm getting completely ripped off now. I already have a claim here. Didn't I complete my mission? Okay, so now I own them. But... Okay, I have a claim. I don't have a core, but... Wow, see. That's very expensive. Oh, uh, what's uh overextension doing to me? Revolt, revolt, stability cost. Oh yeah, let's boost my stability. I should have boosted my stability before clicking this. This is really bad order of actions.
uh, Wolves Ocean. I'll have to put up with a really bad deal that I grabbed here. I need to tech up. So I'm just gonna stack my army. This will allow me to deal with any rebels that pop up. And hopefully that will mean uh, everything will be fine. Hopefully. Oh, Papal States. What's my relations? Uh, I want to recall improving now. In case I get a mission for that later. I still need to save up for coring that. And now I should probably improve my relations with... I say... My closest friends. Oops, wrong button. Uh, improve relations. Send. Now, I should have really fabricated claims on this before capturing it. I did not think this through. I thought it'll be a lot cheaper. And I would not have to pay well war exhaustion that will go down over time. Or not. I thought it had the default of minus uh, point 0.1. Let's keep friends close. And I can deal with your rebels. I actually want to explore here. Don't I have an explorer? Huh? Leaders, uh, yeah, leaders. Oh, so you guys are naval? I thought you are. Oh, I well, thought you were conquistadors. My bad. You stop here. Uh, you single ship, join them. And you guys get yourself. Now, an explorer. I believe is capable of revealing map. So let's put that test their theory in. Yes, it's working. Uh, so you go back to improving my income. And I'm still in a negative. I really need more a uh, spy diplomatic better relations over time mm. that's not good choices and there's no way I could afford that is there anyone useful here I don't want to spend money on anything unless I really have to that's the way I'm gonna do things Okay, so do I still have naval range here? Yes, I do. I'm gonna take some damage here, so I'll have to return to the port soon. After visiting this place. But it's good enough exploration early on. I'm closer to America, which is my ultimate early game goal. It should be actually really ridiculously close, like over here. And I would really like to have Caribbean as well. If possible. Um.
Bob Patriot centered our borders and are killing themselves. Well, good luck with that. Okay, all of a sudden we got a much bigger army here. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on! I could really use that third stability to help me with my rebellions. It's like, what, 21%? Uh... You want military access? Well... Do I even need your land? I only need that province for my more power. And since I'm not so worried about it, I'm uh, actually gonna give you that military access because then, even if you don't like me, you will not declare war on me. Because uh, you'll have to pay stability for it. And you would not. They would not dare to pay stability. Oh, God, give me a break! One fight after another. My income is slightly positive. Let's explore a bit more and return to repair my ships. And uh, I think I sort of devastated Morocco with these rebels. Funny, it seems. Wow, they really did a number on me. And you're planning to join them. Ah, this ain't gonna work. What's my force limit? Uh, I can afford a few more troops. What's the purchase time on troops over here? I believe I could use more. Yeah, I could use a lot more, like two more squads of cavalry. Or three more squads of cavalry, so let's find out the cost. I can't even build him here because it's not the core and it'll take a year uh, forget it, let's do it here wow, is this really that expensive? and it'll cost an extra gold a month I don't think things are going very well for me I'm actually going to split this fleet and detach these two ships and send them back straight away and the reason I'm sending them back is I want to put her a leader and do more exploration separately because I've got three explorers I might as well use them uh, Let's see. Wow, this is very expensive. And, uh... I do not want to fight this stack. And my squad is really beaten up. And without any morale. My overextension is dangerously high, I can't afford coring. This is going horribly wrong. A royal marriage, uh... A chance of a hair, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, so I can send the colonists here, so that's cool.
and I'll get more reinforcements here and once I have reinforcements tell me they're suffering attrition or something because I'm really hoping they're suffering attrition I need to lower these revolt risks yeah this is why I'm not getting any military power I got way too many leaders but I'm gonna make use of explorers I should have really probably gotten rid of them early on actually do I have anyone else other than explorers my king is better than him so yeah, let's dismiss this guy. And you don't have that much maneuver. But I'm gonna kick you, uh, keep you because you die so quickly and uh, I don't want to have to spend extra points later on to get them to live. <laughs> you want a province. Good luck getting that. Uh, or boosting stability. That seems closer to what I can actually do. Okay, I'm actually gonna put a cut in the video. So, this is the end of part one. Uh, yeah, pause.